I had my early primary education in St. Andrews High School in Lahore in my intermediate commerce ICOM where I topped uh, first class first and I was awarded uh, a gold medal and a silver medal for that feat. In Healy College of Commerce Lahore I won the Habib Bank gold medal and I, in the final BCom honors examination I was also awarded a gold medal for securing the second highest position. I proceeded to UK for my Chartered Accountancy and I'm a Chartered Accountant, now Fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales. I qualified with one of the top accounting firms in the world, which is Ernst & Young, in the London, UK office. And the reason I was able to uh, move between different subsidiaries of Kuwait Petroleum Corporation across the energy value chain was Basically, I was considered as a man of change, a uh, transformation agent, really. And that gave me the opportunity of uh, uh, basically understanding the energy sector as a whole, uh, starting from upstream, then midstream, and then downstream. Uh, while I was in Kuwait, I was also offered a position in Qatar Petroleum to be their uh, sort of finance advisor. So when I immigrated to Canada in late 90s, I worked there in financial services sector as well as telecommunications sector. And then I was hired for the position of Deputy Managing Director Finance and CFO of Pakistan State Oil. And uh, that was the time that I decided to return back to Pakistan. Sectors need consulting services from time to time across the world. This is the norm uh, that where you do not have a particular skill set, uh, you hire consultants. But too much reliance of course is also not based. Consultants should only be smartly used I believe. I myself have remained a consultant and uh, consultants do bring value, there is no doubt about it. Based on their exposure to different working environments. We are talking about the organization structures, we are talking about the regulation the regulatory framework, we are talking about uh, the implementation, we are talking about coordinated planning, we are talking about what we need and when we need and what needs to be done. Well, a lot needs to be done on addressing the current energy issues of Pakistan and there is enough talk about it, there is enough literature about it, there are enough people talking about it and they all are almost right. The primary thing is, uh, number one, is the organizational setup or the governance setup that we must put into its place so that whatever we intend to do that actually starts happening.